Hey, good day everybody. It's been a while since I did something like this and I've been thinking about it. In fact, I've been wanting to do this and particularly starting from today, I'm going to have these little podcast talks that are um, virtual. If you'd like to participate in some of these discussions, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. I'll put the links below. Follow the chat. We can even comment below here if you're finding this on Facebook or on YouTube, we can have these conversations virtually. And that is something that I'd like to push forward. And the reason why I'm having these discussions is sometimes we need to think out of the box. And I have these discussions with, with some other guys and I love having these discussions. We just don't ever have time to actually sit down and talk about this. But I'm sure out there, there are other Zimbabweans, other people in the world that would love to join in these discussions. So what are we talking about today? Today's discussion is there is no returning back to the normal. <laughs> yeah, I said it. <laughs> Catch me after this. So, the pandemic hit. We all know that. It's been about two years in it now. And we're still alive. Uh, we're moving forward. Now, when I'm saying that we are never going back to the normal, uh, I would like to think of it as we're moving up to the abnormal now. And if you don't accept the fact that everything that we're doing right now is pretty much just going to move and scale up what it is we're doing right now, then you're missing the point. All companies that failed to adapt to things that changed in the past are all gone in the past. When the internet came, a lot of companies closed because they thought it wasn't going to last. We're not going to afford the internet. We're not going to have the computers to go on the internet. And so they continued doing things down the same path. And we're having those same symptoms today. Uh, pandemics are not new to this world. Uh, pandemics have happened so many times. We could go historically and we can talk about the Spanish flu. We can talk about so many others going back in the past. But the difference is, if you look at every other pandemic, even things like the World War, World War I, World War II, uh, when those things happened, uh, the world was never the same after. So it is foolhardy for us to sit here today and say that things are going to get back to normal because they are not. So if you're running a business and your business has been affected like many other businesses and you're thinking that you're waiting for the time when things get back to normal and you don't adjust to the new norm, I assure you the new kids on the block are coming to take over. And it's not new. It's just simply going to happen. It's like in other countries, they have Uber. Uber took over taxis. And, and it's not so much about the Uber um, application, per se. Uh, but it's simply because the taxis that were running there could have been Ubers as well. They just failed to adapt. They just thought this is a fly-by-night kind of business. And so they crashed and, and, they, died, and they died a journey. So these, these things are, are happening. The only difference with the pandemic at the, at the moment is... Yes, it was sudden. Yes, it has made changes. Yes, it has affected us in so many ways. But one thing for sure, it is not new. <laughs> it is definitely not new. And, and I will say it again, sure as my name is Mike, that we are not going back to the normal. We can rewind on this video 10, 20 years down the line. And if you didn't take this advice, <laughs> we can talk about it then. But that's how I see things. I'll give you a typical example. In Zimbabwe here, um, over the past, I don't know, the past year uh, or so, we've had several lockdowns. The last lockdown that was there basically had all restaurants pretty much shut down. The bars shut down. Nobody was there. So anybody who runs that kind of business was probably thinking, when are bars going to open? In other words, the typical mindset, the human mindset tends to think, when are we returning back to normal? And they are waiting for that. And I'm sure they're still waiting for it today. As we speak today, uh, we have had restaurants being allowed to have 50% capacity, if I'm not wrong. 50% capacity, what that means is, and I'll, and I'll stake my life on this, at least 90%, if not more, of all the restaurants that exist in Zimbabwe have either retrenched a whole lot of waiters in between, uh, people in the kitchen, you name it, because capacity has been drastically reduced to what we are used to, right? And we think that's normal. We think that's normal for, for people to say the business is low right now, let's retrench. And the discussions in the boardrooms are when things get back to normal, we'll recruit everybody because we put all their numbers and everything. But that's never going to happen. 
if I was in that business, and, and, and I like this because when I'm walking around, the people is asking me actually, why are you still in Zimbabwe? I love Zimbabwe because Zimbabwe gives me problems that allow my mind to think of solutions. And when I'm driving around, walking around, even in businesses that aren't my own, I just see nothing but solutions. I think I've told a few friends of mine this, that I've got a friend who will visit me every so often just to say, what do you think about my business? Largely because... I just see solutions and yes I may not be able to implement these solutions because whether they are financial not my area and so forth and so forth but one thing I do know is that I can simplify all these things and tell people how they should be thinking so anyway if I was running a, a, a restaurant business today um, instead of retrenching all the people the excess staff so to speak I would probably have just said okay look here uh, we cannot afford to to have you here because there is no work. But there is nothing wrong with changing everybody's jobs that you intend to retrench. And instead of instead of t- telling them to go home, rather have them deliver food. Um, and and I know a lot of uh, restaurants have also gone into food deliveries, but they did not convert the staff that they already had who really understood the business in a sense and and move on with that some of them have partnered with with one of the businesses they just do deliveries and good for them but they've lost a big chunk of their potential business but that's that's just me so that's 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 how i see it i think uh you just need to adapt or as they say adapt or die so this is a discussion that i'd love to to go into i'd love to talk a whole lot more uh, in fact, I think we can pick up on all these discussions. It doesn't necessarily have to be about where we are right now, how things are happening. It doesn't necessarily have to be about those things, but just conversations that, that we can talk about. So if you, as a sort of person who likes to have debates, healthy debates, talks and everything, please hit me up on the links below and we can have a chat. We can schedule a chat. You can come to my studio. We can have a chat here. Or if you're uncomfortable with meeting face to face, no problem. We can have a virtual discussion because this is what I do. So I'm looking forward to having a whole lot of healthy debates with you. So until next time, guys, I'll catch you on the rebound.